Hello everyone, <coughs> Cliff here in the shed again. So this is the um, spindle of my Taylor Robson engraving machine that I bought. It's a pantograph engraver, some of you may remember the video I did on it. The problem I have with it is the cutters. Um, this is one. I don't know if that's going to focus on it, but they've got this taper on them. They fit into the cut the uh, little tapered collet on there. Fantastic! That little groove there is for using a little tool just to pull them out. But it makes them incredibly hard to um, sharpen. And really, I mean, you can still buy these. I think I did see them somewhere once on the internet. They're not that cheap and well I was thinking when I very first got this that I would try to put a little E11 collet on there or something so I can use it for sort of like a freehand milling machine or making up some patterns on the 3D printer and then engraving them, milling them, whatever you'd like to call it. But anyway. It has got a thread on the end, I'll show you again in a minute a bit closer when I take it out. But I'm going to take the spindle out and see what I can do to get the collet on there. It's quite easy to get the spindle out. You just undo this nut here. Take the uh, drive rope off it and that just slides out of there then. And that's it. That's the spindle all right out. It's a very, very, very fine bit of uh, machine in this spindle. I don't really want to mess about with that. Trying to make a new spindle or anything because it's... Well, it's too much for me. But I do think I can get something onto this thread here. make a little because you've got plenty of up and down movements so I think I can get a little E11 ER11 collet on there this is the little tool you use to get the bits out you just twist it and out they come I mean it's very effective it works brilliant it's just that because of this taper it's very difficult for me to get anything to sharpen them so I have to try and do it by hand and that's not very successful. So what I've got here is the uh, collet, the ER11 collet, what I was using on my little um, 3018 which I don't really get on with very well. <clears throat> I just measured the thread on the collet end which is a uh, point fourteen by point seven five. My lathe don't do a fault with a seven point seven five thread pitch. Not directly. I could probably do it with pissing about with the wheels and that. But um, <clears throat> so what my plan was was to just put a little bit of metal, bit of bar in the lathe, drill it, and tap it for the fourteen by point seven five. Screw this in, then drill and tap this end. For the half inch by 28 thread which is on the spindle of the engraver I thought that would probably be more accurate than just putting this in the lathe but I'm going to have to just put this in the lathe and see how accurate it comes out thing is this really does need to be very accurate I suppose really I should put it in my four jaw chuck and chuck it up I mean this is a Chinese one anyway so yeah so I think I'll just try it in the lathe it's pretty cheap <clears throat> have a bagger it up it's not the end of the world well 
Right, well I've got this in the uh, in the chuck, the actual collet. I've got it held on on the bit that's carrying the the actual thread and this is my best gauge I've got hopefully you can see that look at that that's a bit too close in isn't it seeing that with them divisions are half a foul so that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get it a nuisance that that light is shining on there that's probably a, probably about as good as I can get it hopefully you can see that yeah, so anyway, <clears throat> so I've got it to within about half a foul with the free jaw chuck, which is not too bad. How that lines up with the actual taper of the um, ER11 collet, I won't know until I try it. So now I'm just going to drill it and tap it for an half inch, 28 teeth per inch and see if it will go on the um, spindle. Well I did run a file on this and I could file it. I knew it was hard but I didn't think it was this hard. Just sharpen the drill bit again just to give it one more go. Failing that I'm going to have to soften it because it is hard. Oh, that far, on with the tool. Now I'm going to have to soften this. Right, well that's it drilled. Still quite hard but now I've got to try and bore it out to 11.8 mil. Don't really want to go too far past these spanner flats because it gets a bit thin there.
So, <coughs> excuse me, moment of truth, see if this fits on here. Yeah, it might have turned the spindle, won't it? Yep. That screws on. Right. Now to clean up the uh, collet holder, stick it on the machine and see if it works. Well, <clears throat> by eye it seems to be spinning fine, but that's by eye. Well, that's the collet fitted into the machine and everything, so now we'll give it a go. It's got a pretty new engraving bit in it, so I'll uh, set it up, <coughs> engrave something and see how it turns out. There it is. I don't know if the light's catching that or not. And that's it, it engraves alright. It feels a bit different to the other one. I'm not quite sure why, it's probably not doing it quite so well, quite so balanced. But it does do the job, just not quite as well as the original ones. I expect that's down to the overhang. And possibly it being not as centred as the original one. But it does work. But I'm not all that impressed with it bottom bit, the made in England bit, that's come out alright, I was probably going a bit too deep with the uh, top line, but it does the job, I think part of the top line is to the point that the um, template I'm using is getting a little bit worn out, because the bottom one where I wasn't going so deep, I mean it doesn't look like it's spinning out of true because it's um, it's quite good the bottom one I was going a bit deep and wobbling about a bit in the template I think with the top one but other than that it's alright it'll work anyway so this is the second one I've done with it didn't go quite so deep and it's a much better cut so it is alright <coughs> alright on, on to the next project get back on with the uh, buggy when some other bits arrive See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.